Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Council. Uh, I'd like to start with just a quick story. Um, when I was about 10 years old, my parents and I were visiting a summer camp up in Brevard, North Carolina, and it was one of the first times that I ever encountered a horse in real life. And uh, while they were distracted, speaking over to one side, I was trying to feed the horse hay uh, in its stall, and it suddenly ducked its head down into its stall. And being curious, I stuck my head in myself to see what it was doing, and it raised its head up and tossed it and uh, clocked me right on the side of the head, knocked me flat on my back. Uh, luckily, I wasn't hurt seriously, but I realized later that what had happened was I didn't respect that animal as the reality of what it was. I had in my mind what I thought a horse was based on TV shows and movies and thought of it as a, you know, loyal servant for, for people. Didn't think about it as a large animal that has its own mind and, and a startle reflex uh, that could cause me damage. I would, I would encourage all of you when you consider the, uh, the request to expand the licenses for the horse-drawn carriages to consider the reality of the animals that we're, that we're talking about here. A large animal that, as uh, Ms. Butler I think effectively showed us uh, it isn't designed to be on a hard surface all all day. It's designed to be out in the grass, uh, and also that Wilmington has been incredibly lucky so far that we haven't had any kind of major accidents when it comes to the horse-drawn carriages that we do have. Um, many cities have not been so lucky. Uh, you know, accidents leading to injury to people and to the animals that had to be put down. So. As we look to the future uh, for Wilmington, uh, I think we should carefully consider whether using animals for entertainment is really the, the future for us and uh, what we want to pursue. So thank you very much and have a good evening. Thank you, Craig. Thank you.